I'm Mel Eaves here, uh, meleaves.com, uh, no A, M-E-L-E-V-E-S. I just want to just make some comments regarding some of the, um, the incidents that have happened within football uh, or at football games um, over the last uh, week or so. Most recently, the Aston Villa visit to St Andrews for the local, uh, local Birmingham derby. Blues v Villa and uh, the fan coming onto the pitch and assaulting uh, and attacking Jack Grealish uh, which everybody agrees is totally out of order and shouldn't have happened. The knee-jerk reaction of calling for Blues to be um, reprimanded and fined and uh, even having to play behind closed doors. I think it's just a little bit off off the off centre for me and um, doesn't really address the fundamental core issue of why this happened in the first place. Um, it doesn't get to the root of the problem. Um, and the big thing is we have to stamp this out. Now, to stamp this out, we have to change the level of of consciousness, of awareness, um, and really manners and decency and the way, to re the way to act as human beings, we have to raise the bar a little bit because it's, it's going a little bit down uh, and we thought we'd got over certain things in the game, uh, such as the racial abuse and uh, various other things around that. And... It's, come, it's just slipping back uh, and with the advent of more um, aggressive behaviour, uh, knife crime. And knife crime is all about fear. Um, in the 70s, 80s, when there was maybe a lot of hooliganism, uh, trouble when I played, um, most of it was you'd have a brawl, the big fist fights, but very rarely people would carry knives. Um, and it was probably shown as a sign of weakness if you carried a, uh, carried a knife. Uh, but now the f first resort sometimes for, for some is, is carrying a knife and using it, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, what we have to get back to, and we have to, we have to make progress in empowering people, and this is where especially the younger that we can, we can uh, get this uh, habitually into our kids is to empower them to be the best versions of themselves that they can be in ways that, are, that they respond appropriately in situations as opposed to react negatively. Um, the reaction from the, some of the crowd at... Uh, at Birmingham was very disappointing when they're actually probably applauding the person that went on. Um, now, he's probably saying he doesn't know what happened to him, etc. I don't know what the circumstances are, whether he was under the influence of anything or it was, it was spontaneous, whatever. Um, but you can't get to a situation where the whole the whole pitch is um, is fenced. We had this situation, and that was probably one of the things that caused the Hilbert, Hillsborough tragedy. So we don't want to get back to that situation. Um, but we have to do fundamental um, teaching, and fundamental um, ap approach has to be made as far as empowering everyone to make sensible choices and to do the right thing the more people that do the right thing they will influence everybody else so the more people that have the courage to stand up uh, and stamp out and actually raise raise the issues as far as um, any abusive behavior um, in any in any form the better because, as we've always said, 
the only way that poor practice or evil can flourish is for good men, and that's the majority, to do nothing. We have to empower the majority to stamp out and not to put up with the behaviour that we saw, uh, unfortunately, on Sunday at St Andrews. Just that gets my view on it. Um, it's not straightforward, but it is the way to do it. I don't believe that making um, fines or playing behind closed doors is the answer as far as um, St Andrews is concerned. It can be in some countries that are probably, uh, I hesitate now to say, behind us in the, in the way that they, um, they approach this and they... they they treat, treat the players and uh, opposing fans. But um, something has to be done. Hopefully we'll get to something that's going to address the core issue and not something that will um, punish the vast majority of decent, law-abiding uh, fans and clubs and players also congratulations massive massive credit to all of the players involved on Sunday particularly obviously uh, Jack Grealish in the way that he responded uh, and he responded appropriately he didn't react it could have been very easy for either him especially or any of the other players to take matters into their own hands uh, I saw quite a few players holding everybody back to make sure that the steward that was on uh, did his job and, and took the, uh, the gentleman away. Now, that's what you've got to do. But again, under the circumstances, um, great credit has to be put on all of the players uh, in that respect. Because I've seen situations, I'm sure that most people can put that into a Sunday morning situation, for instance, on the local park, that if somebody came on and um, assaulted a player, it's usually all oh, well, hell breaks loose and there's a mass brawl. And uh, this happens far too frequently and that needs to be stamped out. But the professionalism and the way that the players um, conducted themselves, I think, was exemplary. And uh, as a guy, especially Jack Grealish.